we're going to start by doing a simple um, animation with this little sort of blue blob character that I've created. It's a simple character and we're just going to do um, some work on animating um, in blinking. So a nice simple animation to start with uh, to get you used to the timeline uh, tools in Photoshop. Right, okay, so you can see that we've got a basic character and we've got a little bit of shading on there just to make it feel a bit more realistic and nice big eyes so that the animation uh, will work. Over here on the layers we've got the background image and I'm just going to take the lock off that one. Okay, so this is what you need to start with. Once you've got your sort of base um, facial image, your sort of little character to work with, um, you need to go to window and you need to open the timeline tool which opens up down here. Now um, what we're going to do, the basic premise is we're going to create lots of layers and each layer is going to be a separate frame on the animation. So because we're all, all we're doing is a blinking sort of animation uh, we're not going to need that many layers uh, because we don't need that many frames. So um, what we're going to do first of all is we're going to create uh, multiple copies of this layer and then we're going to affect each layer slightly differently uh, so that each layer will become a different frame in the animation. So you can right click on this layer and you can go to the uh, duplicate layer uh, tool and that will open this and you click OK and it creates a duplicate layer or you can press Command and J on a Mac and I think it's Control and J on a PC and it will just copy the layer for you. So you can see over here we've got layer 0 and then layer 0 copy. I'm going to just press Command J to create another layer and then another one, another one and another one. So in total I've got six layers there. Our original layer 0, layer 0, copy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we've got six layers in there. They're all exactly the same. Uh, you'll notice, of course, if I take the visibility off the top layer, nothing actually changes up here because it's the exact same layer beneath it. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to slowly create um, a blinking motion across these different layers. So, uh, layer 0, right at the bottom, is where his eyes are fully open. And that's our starting point. That's going to be our first frame in the animation. So, our next layer up, which is layer 0 copy here, we want those eyes to be slightly closed. But before we can do anything on this layer, on layer 0 copy, we need to take the visibility off the other layers above it so that we can see what we're doing on this layer. So it's not our bottom layer, it's one up from there. And then using my brush, my pencil tool, and making sure that I'm on the correct blue, just going to take off the top line of pixels on the eyes and that's on that not the bottom layer but one up from that if I take the visibility off that you'll see the bottom layer where his eyes are still fully open okay right so I'm going to just put the visibility back on that one right now we're going to move on to the layer above that one now at the moment we can't see it because we turn the visibility off as soon as I turn that visibility back on what you will see over here in the main screen is his eyes fully open because remember that is a copy of our original layer. So what we need to do on that layer is take off two layers, of two sort of lines of pixels on his eyes. So we'll put that visibility on and then we take off the top layer, oh sorry, top line of pixels and then the second line of pixels. So his eyes are a little more closed and then you can see in the little sort of thumbnails the eyes are getting sort of slowly more closed. So going to the next layer up, turning the visibility on, remember it's going to show fully open eyes because that's a copy of the original layer and we need to take three rows of pixels off this one so that we are getting our eyes to be ever more slowly closed. And you can see in the little thumbnails in the layers what the eyes are looking like. Okay, we've got two layers left. We're going to put the visibility on this one and take the top row off, take the bottom row off. The next one, 
um, this one. And then going to the very top layer, putting the visibility on that one, and just blanking out the eyes altogether. Now I have left, I'm going to leave the little bit of shadow that I'd put in under the eye, and that's because that's going to suggest where the sort of eyelid is um, as if they're closed. Okay, so you can see now we've got in our layers, if I take the visibility off each one in turn, you can see the eyes sort of slowly opening down to fully open. So I'm just going to put the visibility back on all of those. Right, okay, so next step over here in your timeline window that we opened earlier, you should see create frame animation. If you don't, you may see create video timeline. That's fine, just change it to frame animation. Click on that and it puts in one frame in there. In this case, it's the, the one that we're looking at, this sort of closed version of the eyes. Over here on the top right in the timeline window or panel rather, you click on the menu button and then go to make frames from layers. And what it should do is put in a frame for each of the different layers that we've got. Um, all six in total. So starting with our first layer, which was at the bottom of the pile, the eyes are fully open, to the sixth layer, which is the top layer where they are fully closed. Right, now, over here on the timeline, you've got a little sort of play button. If you play that, it will loop what we've got so far. So it's blinking like a maniac. It's not exactly what we want. So I'm just going to stop that. This is driving me a bit, driving me a bit mad. Right. Uh, okay, so um, you can change the looping options there, but I would leave it on forever. Let's just have another look at that. Yeah, he's blinking like crazy. So we're going to stop that. And what we want is we need to duplicate what we've done and reverse it almost because the eyes start open and they get closed slowly over the course of six um, frames. But then when it loops back from frame six to one, they jump from being closed to being open, where we need them to sort of open slowly in reverse. So I'm going to select each of these frames. So to do that, I'm on frame six here. I'm just going to hold shift and click on each frame. And then I'm going to go over here once they're all selected to the menu, go to copy frames. And then I'm going to select the last one and go to the menu again, paste frames, and it's going to ask where I want to paste them. So I want to paste them after the selection. So at the moment, I'm selected on the frame six. So if I click OK, it's now copied those frames over. But they're not in the right order. If you look on the sort of timeline, it goes from the closed, and it jumps back to fully open eye. So I need to reverse the order of these. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to Grab the last one where they're closed and move that over, drop it in, and then click and drag that one over, and then that one. And this is just reversing the order of that second lot of frames that we just copied and pasted. Right now, if I click play and it loops, the eyes open and close as they should do. Almost. What's not quite right is he's still blinking an awful lot, isn't he? So what we need to do is say we need a pause in between um, the period where the eyes are open because the eyes would be open for a while and then they would blink every so often. So going right back to uh, the first frame, underneath each one you can see this little zero seconds and an arrow. This states how long um, the loop stays on the frame. So you can change that. So I'm going to change the first one so that it goes to two seconds. And so that one's now got two seconds underneath it, and the rest of them are instantaneous changes. So when we click uh, play this time, it will hold for two seconds on this frame before moving to the next frames. And you can see that it blinks, and it holds for a couple of seconds, and then it blinks again. OK. So we've got something that works more realistically now. So I'm just going to stop that. Right, okay, so that's our simple blinking animation. 
Now I'm just going to show you how to export it as a GIF and, and then you can have a go yourselves. Right, so at the moment it's a Photoshop document, a PSD. Uh, we've got all of our layers in and we've got our animation timeline in but we need it to just work as a simple little GIF animation. So you go to File, you go down to Export and then across to Save for Web Legacy, click on that and you get all these options. First thing you need to do is go to this section over here and change it to GIF. It might be defaulted to JPEG at the moment on yours, but if you change it to GIF, I realise that apparently the pronunciation of GIF should be GIF, but I've always pronounced it GIF and I'm too old to change now. So GIF it is. Um, so make sure it's on GIF. Then down the bottom, obviously because it's a small document, I set mine up at 30 by 30 pixels I think. I'm going to increase the size so you can change the size here or you can change the percentage. At the moment it's at 100. I'm going to change it to 1300 to make it quite a bit bigger. Press return and you'll see it. Um, press enter and you'll see it's a growing size. Now at the moment mine's increased in size but it's still retained the hard edges and that's because the quality of mine is set to nearest neighbour yours might be defaulting to bilinear or bicubic and you'll get that sort of blurry look to the edges so make sure it's set to nearest neighbor um, before you do anything else and you retain those hard edges to give it the pixel art look and then if you click on save and I'm going to call mine uh, animation example let's call him blueberry perhaps and it's a gif and then click on save and now when I go and look for Blueberry you can see that he's blinking, that it's a working GIF. Okay and that's the simple process.